Hi there! Today we'll be talking about how to add text, dimensions, and leaders to your drawings in Rhino. The first step is to ensure you're on the correct layer, in this case, annotation. You can add text to your drawing by typing text into the command bar. After choosing a starting point, a dialog box will pop up. First, choose a text of your choice. For the height, you need to think about the scale of your drawing. In this case, we want to print at a 1 8 inch scale, and we want our text to be an eighth of an inch. Therefore, in the model space, the text must be one foot, so we'll type one in here. In the box, insert your text. The text can then be moved appropriately. Before we put dimensions in this drawing, we first have to be sure they are set up correctly. To reach this setting, type Document Properties. In the dialog box, go to Annotations, Dimensions, and then select Foot Inch Architectural. Here, we want the font to match the text we chose earlier. The number format should be set to feet and inches, with the precision set to a quarter of an inch. Text height can get a little bit tricky, so make sure that you're paying attention to the set of numbers. First, ensure that your scale is set one to one. Like I mentioned earlier, we want our text to print at a quarter of an inch. Therefore, in the model space, it must be one foot tall. So here, We'll type in 1. We'll keep the text gap at 0.5, the extension line at 0, the extension line offset at 0.5, the dimension line extension at 0, the center mark size at 2, and the model space scale at 1. Remember that you can always go back and change these settings if something doesn't look right after you've hit OK. If you scroll down, there are options for the dimension arrows. Let's choose open arrow for both. Once we're happy with that, hit OK. Dimensions can be added using the command dim aligned. Make sure you use this command as it will follow the line that you've drawn it, whether or not it's at a right angle. Let's do the dimension of the back of the property. If we zoom in, we can do a quick test to see if we've got the scale right. To do this, use the command distance. We will simply measure the height of the text here, and if we've scaled it correctly, it should be about one foot. Up here you can see that it's 11, almost 12 inches, which is perfect. The last way to annotate a drawing in Rhino is to use a leader. A leader is essentially an arrow with a piece of text attached to it. To access this, type leader into the command bar. We'll choose the start of our arrow, a second line, and then end it there. After hitting enter, a dialog box should pop up prompting you to type leader text. This leader can also be moved as needed. 